This is massive for the Montreal Canadiens. Trevor Zegers' trade rumors are escalating with the Habs GM Kent Hughes making calls to the Anaheim Ducks. And I'm going to break it all down for you coming up on this episode of Hattrick HQ. But before going to it, we're proud to announce that this vi video is sponsored again by our friends at Rentals.ca. And moves are coming with all the rumors and reports that have been coming out around the league Fans have been expecting for a lot of major shakeups to happen around the league, which should definitely be exciting for hockey fans. And if you feel like you need some ex extra excitement in your own life, then it's time to move for you as well, and Rentals.ca has you covered. Rentals.ca is Canada's largest apartment hunting network. You can rent houses, apartments, condos, whatever it is, Rentals.ca has you covered. From coast to coast, you can go straight to the Rentals.ca website that's clean and easy to use and pinpoint exactly on the map where you want to move. And Rentals.ca will find you the best rental listings. And once again, shout out to our friends over at Rentals.ca. They're big hockey fans, just like all of us here on the channel. So if you're looking to move into a new apartment, a new condo, uh, make sure to go down below. In the description, in the pinned con co in the pin comment, make sure to go check out Rentals.ca. And we just want to thank Rentals.ca once again for coming on board and sponsoring the video. Uh, we love having you guys support our channel. And we love uh, hopefully some of you guys down in the comment section to go over and check out Rentals.ca. To find your new house and find your new apartment or new condo. And let them know that we sent you. But with that said, we're going to get into our first topic of the video today. Which is Zegers trade rumors are escalating. And as we take a look here uh, from any NHL watcher on Twitter. Uh, Pierre Lebron on Zegers uh, talked about Zegers on uh, Sports Center with Jay Onright. I've seen this clip. This is real, a real quote here uh, from Pierre Lebrun that reads, of the four to five teams that I'm told have foamed the Ducks, the Montreal Canadiens are one of them. So uh, that is true, and why wouldn't they? But having said that, I don't get the sense right now that the Ducks are committed to moving him in Trevor Zegers. And obviously, uh, we're just going to take a look here at Trevor Zegers stats so far uh, this season obviously he was uh, injured has only played 20 games this season with seven points uh, was averaging about 40 percent from the faceoff dot there with 13 blocks eight hits but the season before he had 65 points in 81 games uh, he was 41 percent from the faceoff dot with 29 blocks 46 hits and he had 13 power play points as well which is worth noting here uh, from Trevor Zegers and his contract right now, uh, he just signed a three-year bridge deal at $5.75 uh, million AAV uh, for this year and the next two seasons. And this uh, trade has been something I've been following pretty intently here as a Montreal Canadiens fan. It really has piqued my interest. I mean, for Montreal to get a potential, you know, former, I think was ninth overall draft pick in Trevor Zegers, a guy who has kind of put the league on notice ever since being in here. He's done a lot of flashy plays, a lot of highlight reel plays. Obviously, the king of the Michigan here in the NHL in Trevor Zegers. And this is very interesting to me that Kent Hughes has made a call about Trevor Zegers, I guess. If you hear that this kid is available, I think you have to, you know, at least make a call, see what the, the starting bar is at, see what they would want in return here. And my guess is, you know, if they're starting to talk trade rumors and the trade, uh, we're starting to talk in trade talks and try to get this guy to Montreal, I'm assuming that Pat Verbeek and the Anaheim Ducks are going to start at like a David Reinbacher or a Lane Hudson, but I don't think that the Montreal Canadiens will move these guys. These are they're two young defensive prospects that they have coming up to their system. They don't want to move these guys. I believe that these guys are their untouchables. But in saying that, I do think Montreal could make a deal work here. They have, I believe, the Winnipeg Jets first round pick this year. They have... Uh, the Calgary Flames first round pick this year as well as their own. They also have multiple uh, late round draft picks as well. They've acquired in trades uh, from this offseason and uh, just, you know, trading Monahan stuff like that this year. And, I mean, it is a very interesting, uh, you know, thing for me. I do think that this guy uh, is the best fit for Montreal. Obviously, the, the big side of uh, Trevor Zegers is his offensive game. This is an offensive star in the league who could come in. He's, you know, people have been, you know, saying he's been struggling a little bit to start his uh, young career. But I do think, you know, moving him into this younger team, reuniting with his, with his good buddy in Cole Caulfield could really spark this guy's game into another level. And I really do would love to see him play his best 
best hockey, his best years here in Montreal with this uh, improving, rebuilding team that are going to be, you know, playoff contenders uh, very soon, in my opinion. The rebuild is almost done. Once these young guys start to, uh, you know, improve and start to become into their prime, Montreal is going to be a powerhouse. And I really hope that they get Trevor Zegers to come along on this journey with them. But, I mean, the only downside on Trevor Zegers is his, is his defensive side of the puck. Uh, he, you know, he's been lacking a little bit on the defensive end, uh, getting back and, and back-checking and stuff like this. But these are easy fixes. This is just something that you have to work on in practice with your, coach, with your coaches and stuff like this, trying to find new ways to improve your defensive game I do think that he can overcome this and start to be a you know average to maybe even a great defense a defensive forward here and I think it all starts with him coming to Montreal I mean I think him coming to Montreal is great I think he really uh, link with this team really like s get in sync with this Montreal Canadiens team they're all young guys they do have a few vets there that could help this guy out and I think Getting him to Montreal would really help his career and really get him back on track to the ceiling that we all thought he was of being a star player in this uh, league. And I really like this trade here. I really hope it does go true, uh, go through. But we do see here from Mark Dumont on hockey on uh, Montreal Hockey Now. He says with the NHL betting odds pegging the Montreal Canadiens to finish in the basement of the NHL standings again this season. The clear need for the club to acquire a top young offensive player by the end of the summer to push the rebuild to the next level. And obviously, uh, there's no better guy to do this with than Trevor Zegers. Like I said, he is going to be one of the top offensive players in the league. Once he develops uh, into his own and really, you know, can put that point production up. Obviously, only having 65 points uh, in his third year in the league is great. I do think the ceiling for him to maybe hit 100 points in his career is definitely there. I just think he needs to find that or find the right fit for him to to do that and we also see uh, from Mark Dumont again he says drafting at the 2024 NHL draft would surely help but also putting together a package that could extract Seegers out of M Anaheim would be another coup for the Canadiens GM he also says Hughes has a, a dynamic eye for offensive talent in that 29 NHL draft class where Seegers was drafted ninth overall and uh, as we take a look here, uh, this is a mock trade that I did find for Trevor Zegers. In my opinion, it, it is a little bit less than what I would expect them to maybe trade out for a guy like Trevor, Trevor Zegers. It is two first round picks in saying that that is a lot when you look at it. Uh, both not Montreal's, which is great because Montreal's going to have great draft picks uh, coming up if, you know, they finish at the bottom of the league like everybody's expected them to. But the, we have those two first round picks from Winnipeg and Calgary with Sean Farrell and Jordan Harris, who we talked about yesterday. Uh, that was just recently uh, put on the trade block here by Montreal. I do think you may have to beef this deal up a little tiny bit to bring Zegers in here, whether it's with uh, another young prospect, maybe like a Owen Beck, a Philip Machar, one of these guys, both guys that I really like in this Montreal system. I think they will have an impact in the league at some point in their careers. And... I think giving them maybe a home in Anaheim could really help these guys shine. They could get more minutes. They could get into the lineup more often and stuff like this. And I think this could be a great trade for both sides here. Another option that I'm thinking is maybe you see a three-team trade here. Maybe, uh, you know, you get Adam Henrique in here at the mix at the deadline. Get uh, ship Adam Hen Henrique to a third party. But also get Trevor Zegers coming to Montreal in this. But I do expect this trade to happen in the offseason. I I don't think this is an imminent trade that needs to happen right now. Trevor Zegers, I believe, is still out injured. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments section. So this isn't an immediate trade that you need to happen right now. But the fact that Kent Hughes is making calls on this and really uh, getting into the mix on this trade is really interesting to me. And I really hope that this tra trade does go through because I really do expect that him to be a great player uh, in his career. And I think picking him up now while he's a little bit cheaper, I guess, of an asset than if he would be if he's like a 80 90 point player uh, i think this could be a smart move for the montreal canadians and a great offensive talent to appear uh, alongside cole caulfield nick suzuki obviously he'd be the 
the 2C in Montreal, uh, maybe there with Kirby Doc or Uri Sovkovsky, maybe, uh, stuff like this. Obviously, Alex Newhook right now is the 2C in Montreal, but I think he could be a great uh, third-line center for this Montreal club if Trevor Zegers does come in. But I do expect this team to, uh, you know, be great in a couple of years, and bringing in a guy like Trevor Zegers is only, only going to help the cause. But I want to hear from you guys down below in the comments section. What do you think about a potential Trevor Zegers trade to Montreal? If you want my personal opinion on it, uh, I was really thinking about it uh, uh, to this morning or just before I started recording this video that... You know, at first, I think I'd be ecstatic. We got Trevor Zegers. We got a great young star in this league. But it would all depend on what we see go back in the other direction in this. If we see David Reinbacher or a guy like Lane Hudson go the other direction here, I think I, I would I would be, you know, a little bit a little bit less excited uh, because I'm really excited for these two young defensive prospects. I really do think they're going to be great NHL players during their careers. They're working their way up right now, and I really hope we get to see them in the lineup uh, next season. But uh, like I said, I would be ecstatic seeing this, but depending on what goes the other way is really what's going to be uh, on Habs fans' mind. You don't want to give up too much to bring this guy in. You just want to find that perfect level there where, you know, Anaheim uh, wants... You know, if they want to move him, they get him out. They get, you know, their draft picks, whatever it may be in return. Maybe Anaheim doesn't want to move this guy because, in my opinion, I wouldn't want to move this guy if he was on my team. I think he has so much potential. He's such a high ceiling, and I think moving him out right now uh, you know, wouldn't be the best option for Anaheim, but maybe there's stuff going on behind the scenes. Maybe Pat Verbeek is uh, p cooking up something here, trying to ship this guy out and really get into the rebuilding mode here. It will be interesting to see, though, what happens uh, with Anaheim and Montreal, uh, but we'll keep you up to date on everything that happens around this trade. We're going to get in everybody's favorite topic here, and that is comment of the day. And comment of the day today goes to our boy Daniel. He says, great show, KC. Cal holding out for the best offer I don't think Tanev is worth a first rounder personally but we have seen crazier things and I did see a lot of you guys commenting on yesterday's video talking about Chris Tanev not being worth a first round pick I just want to clear the air here the reason that I think he is worth a first round pick in this scenario is because you're getting him at 50% retained on a 4.5 million dollar contract so I mean you know if you retain 50% of his contract I mean that is a lot of money that the other team has to hold on to for the rest of the season so you, your first round pick you get this guy for a rental but I do think if they trade him they will extend him he is an Ontario boy so I do think this first rounder is worth it in this situation just wanted to clear the air on that because I did see a lot of comments about that yesterday but if you still have questions about it make sure to go down below hit that uh, and comment uh, down below um, and I'll answer all your questions down there but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button around the road for 3,000 subscribers so i really appreciate it if you're not subscribed already to go down below and hit that subscribe button and once again shout out to our sponsor for this video rentals.ca uh, for coming on board for another sponsorship and if you're looking to move make sure to check out rentals.ca down in the comment and down in the description and if you want to check out that chris tana video that we put out yesterday it'll be popping up on your screen right now but as always i'm your host casey keep your stick on the ice